Did you know three of the top five safest cities in the entire country are all suburbs of Dallas, Texas? Specifically in Collin County, which is located directly north of Dallas County. In this video, we'll be exploring the top three safest suburbs of Dallas, as well as how much it would cost you to buy a home in each of these areas. I was actually blown away by just how affordable the homes are in each of these cities. There is literally a home for you no matter what price range you're looking in. My name is Michael. I own a local real estate brokerage here in the Dallas area. And if you're looking to make a move in the Dallas area, whether it's next week or next year, I'd love to connect. I've helped every one of these yellow dots find their little piece of Texas and I'd love to help you too. Just call, text, or shoot me an email. All that info is in the description below. Okay, today we'll be looking at a study that was done by smartasset.com. And in researching this video, I found a lot of articles that were giving opinions, but not a lot of data. So I really appreciate that this study clearly displays the actual crime rates as well as the type of crime. And I'll link it down in the description as well so you can check it out. Here is the article. You can see Safest Cities in America 2023. The key findings were these cities in the Lone Star State ranked safest. Safety doesn't always come with a high price tag. Number one is Frisco. Number two is McKinney. Number three is McAllen, which is far south Texas. Number four is Santa Clarita, California. And number five, Plano, Texas. So Frisco, McKinney, and Plano are the three we'll be exploring today today, all three of these are just north of Dallas. And again, what I love about this article is you can see it clearly laid out how much violent crime per 100,000 residents, property crime, vehicular mortality, and drug poisoning mortality. And right out the gate, when you look at Frisco, you can see all of these numbers are low compared to even the top 15. So I'm gonna let you guys look through the article, but just know Frisco, McKinney, and Plano is where we're gonna be looking. Okay, we're starting with the number one safest city. This is Frisco, Texas. You can see here on the map, Frisco is directly straight north of Dallas. It will typically take you between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how much traffic you hit. And I also wanted to point out that Frisco is actually only typically 28 to 40 minutes to DFW International Airport, which is actually closer than if you were driving in from most places in Dallas. So it's a great location to the airport if you need to do any international travel. But if you're living up in Frisco, the chances are you're not going to be coming into Dallas for much. You'll have everything you need up in Frisco. And if you've ever been to Frisco, this study is probably not surprising to you at all. Frisco is the fastest growing city in the entire country. It's attracting a lot of businesses and talent. It houses six professional sports teams, including the Dallas Cowboys training facility. FC Dallas is housed there. And the PGA headquarters recently moved to Frisco as well. They actually just opened an incredible new Omni Resort overlooking the new PGA golf course. In 1990, Frisco had a population of only 6,100 people. And by 2020, the population had exploded to over 200,000 people. So a lot of very recent growth. The upside to all this new growth is that the average home you'll find here was built around 2008. Whereas if you're looking for homes in Dallas, a lot of them were built between 1920 to 1980. So it's very new and very nice. There are also a lot of new home development communities still being built currently. And many of them are still semi-customizable depending on where you come in in the construction process. If you're interested in learning more about what incentives these builders might be offering right now, just give me a call. Frisco also has the number four rated school district in all of the DFW area, according to niche.com. And if being in a top school district is very important to you, make sure to watch this video covering the top 10 school districts in all of the DFW area. We also explore just how expensive homes are in each of those areas. But if you wanna buy a home in Frisco, what will it cost you? So the way we're gonna be looking at this today is we're gonna look at the lowest price sale of a livable home in the last 90 days. Then we're gonna look at a median priced home. And then we're gonna look at the most expensive sale in the last 90 days for each of these three cities. So in Frisco, the median list price today is $834,000. But don't let that deter you because the lowest price sale in Frisco in the last 90 days was only $350,000 for a 1,374 square foot home that was built in 1991. Okay, here's the home we're looking at today and you can see it is located just right outside the heart of Frisco. So this is a great location. It was listed at 340,000. It closed at 350,000. It's a three bed, two bath. It's got a two car garage. It's got a fireplace. Again, it was built in 1991, 1374 square feet. Let's take a look. Look at that neighborhood. Would you have thought that you could get in a neighborhood like this, a house like this, in the number one safest city in the entire country for at that laundry room. 
there you have it. Okay, now let's take a look at a median priced home. So remember the median sales price as of today was around 834,000. Let's take a look at this one. It's a little above that, it's at 860,000, but I think it's a great representation of what Frisco has to offer. It's currently on the market, again, just north of the heart of Frisco. This one is five bed, four full and one half bath, three car attached garage, 3,787 square feet. It does have an HOA of 1,200 annually as pretty much all of the new build communities here will have. But as you can see, this one was built in 20 2021. So let's take a look. It's beautiful. I mean, this would not exist anywhere near this price, even just 40 minutes south in Dallas. I mean, even 20 or 30 minutes south, you could not get a house like this anywhere near this price. And again, it's the number one safest city in the entire country. Theater room, extra play area, decent sized backyard. Wow, big backyard. And of course the HOA covers things like the community pool, playground, walking and jogging trails. So that is a lot of house for 860,000 and that's pretty representative of the new builds that you're gonna find in Frisco. Now let's take a look at the highest price sale in the last 90 days and it's right next to the other one we just looked at but this one sold for 3.1 million. Original list price was 3.75. It's sitting on two acres, was built in 2007, almost 8,000 square feet, has a three car garage, six beds, three fireplaces, five full bath and three half baths, four living areas, two dining areas, and less Let's take a look. Incredible. Look at that pool. It's got an island. So what I'm trying to show you here is there is literally a house for every price range, no matter what you're looking for. Frisco has it, and it is the safest city in the country. Look at that master bath. That is incredible. Look at this jacuzzi tub down here with the Roman columns. Home gym, sauna, wine cellar. I believe that goes underground. Beautiful office. And the big selling point here is that this sits on two acres. Once Frisco gets more developed, you're not gonna be able to find a two acre lot anywhere. And I know we skipped over this price range for the sake of time, but there are a ton of great options. There are actually 196 homes in the 400 to 600K price range that sold in the last 90 days. So don't be discouraged by the high median list price. The housing here is incredibly affordable and there is a home for you regardless of what price range you're in. So if you're looking to live in the safest city in the entire country, give me a call and let's find you a great home. Okay, moving on to the number two safest city in the entire country, which is also a suburb of Dallas. This is McKinney, Texas. McKinney is the third largest city in Collin County, just behind Frisco and Plano. As you can see here, it's located directly northeast of Dallas, just straight up Highway 75 for reference. Here is Frisco right here. As you can see here, you can typically expect to get there from downtown Dallas in 35 to 55 minutes, depending on the traffic. McKinney is known for its historic downtown district, which was established in 1848. It's one of the oldest and largest historic districts in the entire state of Texas, and it has more than 120 shops and restaurants. It's a very cool place to visit. McKinney has a very similar feel to Frisco, and even though it's a much older city, most of the recent development has happened just in the last few decades. So even though you'll find some homes for sale that were literally built in the 1800s, the average home here is actually gonna be closer to like 2005. The median list price here is currently 641,000, so quite a bit lower than Frisco. But again, let's start with the lowest price sale in the last 90 days. Okay, looking at the lowest price sale, and again, this is the lowest price livable sale. So we're not looking for things that are falling over or being sold at lot value. The best that I came up with is this one here. You can see here's the heart of McKinney. And there's actually one listed a little less for 208,000, but it's only a two bed, one bath, 852 square feet. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. You could buy this one today and be in the second safest city in the entire country. And this one is definitely livable. It's a little dated, very nice. Yeah, this is totally a livable house, great yard. But let's take a look at the other one that actually sold. That would be this one at 210,927 square feet, built in 1950. This is a two bed, two bath. Very nice, well kept. It's got some updates, it's charming. This is $210,000. This would be a great home for someone. It's got vaulted ceilings. 
That looks like an addition. The ceiling has a different texture. It's got a window unit somewhere, so it definitely looks like it was added onto it. But there you have it. That's your distance to downtown. Okay, now let's look for a median price home, which the median again is 641. Let's just check this guy. Okay, 644. 3,561 square feet. That's enormous. It's on 0.32 acres. Listed at about 660. Closed for 644. Five beds, four full baths, two car garage built in 2003. And again, it's a large lot at 0.32 acres. It's got a pool. It's got a gazebo. All ceilings in the living area. Open kitchen. Tall ceilings upstairs as well in the master. Nice big closet, big game room. Got the outdoor fireplace. Looks like a little guest quarters pool house here. It's tiny. I don't think someone could live in that. Unless, is this it? Oh yeah, it's got an apartment. Wow, it's actually pretty big. Look at that. Much bigger than it looked from the outside. Wow, that is a nice apartment. I'll go live in that. Okay, now we're looking at the highest price sale and it's kind of a tie between these two. They're very different. I almost don't want to count this one though it technically is the highest price sale because it has over 10 acres. So let's take a look at the one that I think is more representative here. It sold for 1.795. It's a five bed, five full and two half bath, four car garage, 5,186 square feet, built in 2011. And this is more representative of what you'd expect at this price point in McKinney. Look at the height of those ceilings. Exposed beams. Open kitchen. Theater room, game room. Wow, look at that. That was the outdoor fireplace. It's covered, it's got solar panels. And again, this one has a great view as well. It just doesn't have 10 acres. Got the Tesla wall packs. So once again, there is literally a home for everyone's budget here in the second safest city in the entire country. We just went from 208,000 all the way up to 1.8 million. So if your budget lands anywhere between those and you wanna look in McKinney, give me a call. Okay, on to the number three safest suburb of Dallas, which happens to be the number five safest city in the entire country, Plano, Texas. Plano was established in 1873. Plano is located directly north of Dallas. As you can see for reference, McKinney is way up here and Frisco is way up here, so Plano is quite a bit closer than the other two. The map here says around this time, it's typically 26 to 40 minutes. So Plano, just like McKinney, is also a very old city, but from 1970 to 1980, the population grew from 17,000 to 72,000. Then the majority of the recent growth happened between 1980 and 2000. So a lot of the homes you'll find here were built in the late 80s and early 90s, which means these houses and the systems in them are quite a bit older in general than Frisco or McKinney. One issue that a lot of homes have in this area as well as Dallas is they have old cast iron plumbing lines, old electric panels, just things that need to be inspected and addressed before you close. And the median list price currently in Plano is 625,000, so it's much closer to the McKinney price point, but let's start with the lowest price sale in the last 90 days. Okay, again, I'm looking here for the cheapest, but also most livable option. So it's not technically the cheapest. There are some that sold for less, but you probably wouldn't want to live in them. So I'm going with this one. It's located just east of the heart of Plano, sold for 260,000, was listed at 260,000. It's a three bed, one bath, has no garage, but it has one carport you can see here, 1,231 square feet, built in 1962. Okay, so, okay, again, this is the most livable option at this price point. But still, it, this is not a bad option. Got a nice big yard, nice privacy fence. There's your layout. So that's what 260,000 will get you. All right, now moving on to the median price, which is 625. Let's see, we could go to either side of the highway. And remember the homes here are gonna be a bit older than the last two, so they're gonna look a bit older. So have some grace for these homes. You basically got the two options. You've got 
these huge 3,700 square foot homes that are still in totally original condition, or you can get a bit of a smaller home that's fully updated. But let's just check this one out. Last list price was 649. It closed at 6255. It's a four bed, three full, one half bath. It has a 165, very small HOA annually. It was built in 1990, so again, a little older. It has a two car garage, and let's check it out. Pretty representative. Unfortunately, a lot of these older large homes will have square footage that you're like, why do they have this square footage here? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Like that's a huge game room. Again, looks like it's all original, which is about what you'll get in this price range for this giant size. So maybe let's take a look at a bit of a smaller one. Okay, I couldn't find a good example of a smaller, more updated home around this price, so I went back to one that I actually sold. Um, this was a little closer to six months ago, but I just wanted to give you a representation. They're not all these giant box houses. So this one was listed at 620, and we got it for 615. It was just under 2,400 square feet. It had a small HOA, had a two-car garage, four beds, three full baths, but so you can see it's white oak flooring. Everything is on trend. It's a beautiful home. So if you're not looking for, you know, 3,700 original square feet, you can pick up something like this. They are few and far between, so you got to be ready to move on it when they come up. But this was a very nice house. I'm super happy for my buyers. They were super happy as well. This is the master bath, guest bath. And then another guest bath on the other side of the home, laundry room. Very cool backyard. So... This is a great home. That's a community pool, community park. So this, this is a great neighborhood as well. Okay, now let's move on to the highest price sale in Plano in the last 90 days. The highest price sale was 3.6 million, although as you can see, there are many listed above that currently, but these things are enormous. Look at that one, 14,000 square feet. But let's look at the actual closed sale. This one closed for 3.6 million, 12,048 square feet, and the important part is it's on 2.9 acres. Again, in a lot of these places, it's very rare to get more than one acre, so there's a lot of value in the land. Beautiful tall ceilings, lots of natural light. I love old wood. Look at this tub, interesting. Okay. It's a huge gym. So again, it's dated, could use a little help. And there you have it. Well, my biggest takeaway of this whole video is that you can live in the number two safest city in the country for as little as $208,000. And once again, if you're looking to make a move in the Dallas area, whether it's next week or next year, I'd love to connect. Just call, text, shoot me an email. All that is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.